There is now a vaccine for senior citizens to protect themselves against RSV, which is a virus that can cause serious lung infections. In fact, more than 60,000 older adults are hospitalized every year with the virus. The CDC also reports that nearly 10,000 seniors die from an RSV infection each year. Keep that in mind. RSV can worsen conditions like asthma, congestive heart failure, COPD, and the risk is heightened this time of year in particular. Joining us this morning via Zoom is Dr. Moby Rathor. He's an epidemiologist at Wolfson Children's Hospital. Good morning, Dr. Rathor. Good to have you on. Good morning. So, Dr. Rathor, as you know, for many years, we usually are talking about RSV in kids, you and I, but RSV is a huge problem among senior citizens, as we just heard with those statistics. Would you explain when it comes to this vaccine, should all seniors get this vaccine or is there just a small portion of the population that should? So, Jennifer, uh, you're absolutely right. RSV is an infection that is primarily uh, talked about in children. And as you know, in the last few seasons, there has been such a high number of cases of seriously ill children in the hospital. Uh, we can talk about that a little bit later. We're talking about the adults. Adults also, like you and me also, we get RSV infection. But for most of us, it's probably just like a bad cough or a bad cold. But if you are 60 years of age and older, or if you're an adult with a serious underlying health condition, heart disease, lung disease, some immune issues, you are at significantly increased risk for having a much severe illness, which could land up in the hospital. Some estimates say up to 120, 160,000 adults are admitted to the hospital. And as you said, up to 10,000 or more can die of it. So the disease, while it can be mild in most adults, in seniors, especially 60 years of age and older, it can be a very serious illness and can actually kill you. So I think the, the current recommendation from the FDA and the CDC is that all adults uh, greater than 60 years of age should get the RSV vaccine called Abrisva uh, in, in addition to their COVID vaccine and the flu vaccine. So I think this is a vaccine that uh, should become a part of our routine care and can be taken with the other two vaccines at the same time. So some may say, well, wait a minute, I already as a senior citizen get the pneumonia vaccine. Why do I need the RSV vaccine? What's your answer to that question? Yeah, so this is a virus vaccine. The pneumonia vaccines that uh, are recommended for seniors then, well, is against the bacteria pneumococcus, which is a serious cause of illness in the seniors. This is a viral infection. This is an infection that usually stays in the upper part of your uh, nose, throat, but can get into your lungs, and that's when it can get really serious. So I think this uh, vaccine will hopefully prevent you from getting a serious disease from RSV vaccine. So that's the difference. You need the the pneumonia vaccine, the new, which will for streptococcus pneumonia, but you also need this vaccine, just like you need the vaccine for influenza and COVID, which can also cause bad pneumonia. So different organisms are being handled. So, so doctor, uh, a personal note here, my older parents live with me. So I was just having this conversation last night, actually, with my mom, and she raised this point, which I think is valid, and I'm sure that she's not the only one who has this question, so I pose it to you, is that she frequently will go and get, you know, as you just mentioned, you can get certain vaccines, you know, or vaccines at the same time, two at the same time, as an example. Is there any reason that immunity to if you get two different ones. So let's say you get the flu vaccine and then you also at the same time get the RSV vaccine. Is there any reason that immunity to either one of these would be impacted because you essentially have both of them kind of in your system that may be causing your body to work really hard and as a result, you're not protected 100% from both? Well, you know, Jennifer, our body is amazing. Nature has made this amazing machine that can handle all sorts of uh, antigens and proteins that are, we are exposed to every day. So to answer your question specifically, you can assure your mom that your body will respond to each of these vaccines independent of the other one. In fact, the studies have shown that it does not in any way impact the ability of the other vaccines to uh, protect you. So we can actually, to be very honest with you, you can get a lot more vaccines yeah. and this amazing body of ours that nature has created uh, will respond to each one of them and will protect us. Remember, we are assaulted by germs all sorts of germs all the time, and our body is trying to protect us against this. The vaccine basically tricks the body in thinking that the germ is attacking, produces the antibody, produces the good proteins, that when the actual germ attacks our body, the defense mechanisms, the Marines in the body, the antibodies are there to help us protect against that infection. 
Dr. Mobin Rathor joining us this morning. So your message, of course, senior citizens 60 and older need to get the RSV vaccine in addition to other vaccines and also to remember to get a vaccine also for your young children. Speak to your pediatrician about that. Dr. Rathor, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Have a wonderful day.